Hello everyone, please read disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Okay, welcome to Simple Trading Style channel. And today we are going to talk about daily stock market update. Let's uh, start it. Okay, we have a few questions, right? Is it is crash over? Bearish or bullish? Let's do a technical review and daily review and just do and we will figure out we will figure out what's going on with the market okay the simple rain style works for stock ctfs options crypto if you like this channel please click like button and subscribe for the channel uh, telegram and, and uh, youtube channel and telegram and discord channels also okay let's move this simple trading style works for etf stocks options or crypto let's do it it's a simple trading style it's a easy to learn i'm sorry it's simple to learn but not easy because it's emotional right it's emotional the the best the best trader it's a, it's a, the best loser who can take a small losses that's the best trader people cannot take small losses that's the simple stuff but it's, it's 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 yeah it's a simple stuff but it's not easy emotionally okay let's move it let's move it to ebay i'm um, ebay we bull sorry <laughs> to we bull we bull green day it's crazy day right and the, it's a closed market closed in the positive direction it's positive position dow plus, plus one and a quarter s p one and three one point three um nasdaq one point three but started it started positive it moved down to zero close gap move up again positive move down look at it it was two percent up uh half percent down and finally close 1.3 percent up it's 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 a huge volatility huge volatility look at the in the look at the in the world the world is green look at it um china is 5.3 percent up four percent shanghai two point two and a half percent up okay it's a green day let's move to our daily update daily daily review let's do daily review let's switch to dollar let's do dollar and daily week is closed happy friday uh happy friday right look at that <coughs> dollar it's really interesting interesting chart yesterday was bullish day uh, uh, ma5 did bullish crossover bullish signal that's why okay bullish signal we were ready for bullish was bullish crossover on macd bullish on rsi bullish on all indicators it is bullish signal right but that's why we have to use stops we have to use stop usually i would prefer to use stop one bar below if you if you buy if you bought over here right you stop one bar below you can lose one bar or just based on percentage one percent two percent five percent depends what you have or mental stop that's how it works you see it was kind of it was similar like here right but bullish crossover bullish crossover was on, on ma5 on the magd on the other side all indicators was bullish crossover and suddenly market changed direction and did bearish crossover same here bearish bullish crossover was yesterday today's bearish crossover next day market change direction that's why we use stops you stop and and it protect it help you to protect you okay huge red bar huge red bar for dollar it's a bullish for indexes for Q's spy for indexes okay let's move to four hours four hours red bar bearish crossover bearish signal bearish signal on four hours 
no changes better signal <coughs> it closed below all moving averages stop below all moving averages close below all moving averages uh, it's for the last bar far from a 20 far from a 20 like i said here right it was far from a 20 i always mentioned it it always wants to go back to ma20 now we are far from ma20 also it will come back to ma20 move to one hour one hour bearish too right here from yesterday it we had bearish crossover bearish crossover it, on one hour it's a bearish ma5 did bearish uh bearish crossover and the last bar closed below all moving averages and below 200 it's a bearish trend but remember far from a 20 far from a 20 it definitely would like to bounce back to a 20 on rsi it's oversold and it's kind of bullish bullish divergence on rsi only on rsi only one bullish divergence on one hour on rsi other indicators do not have bullish divergence okay bearish trend on dollar bullish for Qs and spy for indexes let's move to apple apple daily apple daily bearish signal apple daily huge gap it has huge gap about the current state right Apple daily still bearish, bearish crossover, still bearish, bearish signal on all indicators. Let's go to Qs, bearish signal on daily too. Okay, Apple bearish signal on daily, bearish signal on daily, it's still below, below MA20, left huge gap. It wants to go back to to twenties, right? It wants to go to back to twenty and close this gap. Bearish signal on all indicators for Apple. Four hours, Apple Apple for uh, four hours. Bearish signal on all indicators. Last four hours green bar. It was trying to recover. From the previous bar from the previous red bar it left huge gap uh, three dollars gap it left for last two days right it will close it because it will see the last bar far from may 20 far from may 20 it definitely wants to go back to may 20 and it will change uh, moving averages but so far all indicators still bearish on four hours still bearish on four hours let's see one hour one hour it's it's changing direction to bullish or also also later change direction to bullish macd wants to change direction to bullish and 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 also and the rsi wants to change direction to bullish no confirmation yet no no confirmation it's ready for bullish uh confirmation but it's not uh, uh it's not completed yet okay yeah still huge uh, gap above the current state yeah the remember it's a may 20 just did bearish crossover did bearish crossover yesterday right and for me it's a bearish trend let's see how it, it will be sideways and the, the may 20 will will curl and change direction to uptrend so far it's a bearish apple still bearish on all indicators let's move to Qs let's move to Qs Qs on daily right Qs on daily yesterday we received bearish crossover on all indicators still bearish signal MA5 did bearish crossover over MA20 the last bar below all moving averages still bearish signal on daily still bearish signal 
no changes. Four hours, four hours. MACD still bearish signal. RSI awesome oscillator bearish signal. Green bar looks like it's trying to be my bottom right last four bars in the, on the same level it's, it's kind of this one it's a kind of support level like so yeah 262 it's a, it's a support support it yeah it didn't make the new law it's kind of in, on the support on the support let's see yeah it has has yeah on the MACD it has some bullish divergence, it's building bullish divergence, building, we'll see if it can handle it, it's building bullish divergence. Okay, okay, uh, still, still, uh, still bearish, still bearish and far from May 20, far from May 20, below all moving averages except 5. You see it like it's so simple, right? The trade trend over here on, on November 1 sold it and we bought sold TQQ and bought SQQ. And it's in the in the in the, in the bearish direction. Let's move to one hour. On one hour, yeah, it, it, it works better, right? On one hour it works better. Here is the MA5. Did bearish crossover over MA20, over MA10. It's a sell signal was on, on November 1st. And now we received bullish signal, right? And the yeah, last two hours we received bullish signal. SQQ, last two hours, bullish signal, sold SQQ and changing direction to bullish, to TQQ. And that's how it works simple trading style bullish signal on rsi bullish signal signal on uh, macd and awesome oscillator on one, one hour bullish signal bullish signal still bearish on four hours and daily if you trade daily it's a bullish signal uh, if you trade if you day trader it's a bullish signal on one hour for you for your swing trader swing trader for short term Okay, bullish on one hour. Let's move to VXN volatility index. Look at it today, right? Today is the right behavior. Uh, Q's were uh, Q's was uh, up 1.3 percent. VXN minus 3 percent. That's the right behavior. Similar spy was up. VIX minus 3 percent. Dow was up vx vx then minus two and a half 2.6 percent that's expected behavior not what we saw for last two days last two days we we saw negative indexes and negative volatility index that's that's not expected okay let's let's check vxn daily vxn daily bearish last bar below all moving averages uh, MACD, MACD is still bearish, still bearish from October 17. From October 17, look at it, bearish crossover. From October 17, it's a bearish signal on all indicators, no changes. Bearish signal on, 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 the, on, the, on the bars and the, and the moving averages. Bearish signal on daily. It's a bullish for Qs. Even we don't have signal yet on, bull, on the Qs, but Based on the volatility index, we have already bullish uh, signal. Four hours, four hours, four hours. It was trying to go bullish. It was trying to change, but it didn't change. It didn't conform, right? It didn't cross. It didn't make bullish crossover. That's how market likes to make a fake stuff, fake stuff to scare people. Yeah, it's still bearish from October 14. From October 14, it's still bearish trend after bearish crossover. Still bearish till today. Bearish signal on all indicators. We'll see if it can handle the bearish signal. Last bar close below all moving averages below 200. Below all moving averages. Bearish trend on 4 hours. It's a bullish for Qs on 4 hours. 
let's see one hour one hour bearish signal for one hour bearish signal for a one hour still bearish signal for one hour On MACD, but bullish bullish divergence, bullish divergences on all indicators, bullish divergences on all indicators on one hour. Yeah, it can spike up. Can spike up, but so far bearish bearish signal on all indicators on all time frame and all indicators for VXN. It's a bullish for Qs. Let's move to spy spy daily. <coughs> Spy daily. It was trying to do bearish crossover on MACD, but it didn't make it yesterday. It didn't make it today. Still bullish signal on MACD. RSI change direction to bullish. Awesome oscillator still bearish, and MA5 did bearish crossover. It's a bearish signal. It's kind of mixed signal, right? On the moving averages bearish signal the bar below ma5 and 10 it was below ma20 even bearish signal on moving averages on macd on awesome oscillator also bearish on rsi and macd bullish mix signal let's see how market can handle it will continue to stay bullish or it will go bearish MA20 uptrend, that's good, that's good. And bar still above MA20, that's positive, that's bullish, that's positive. That's what I, I mentioned to you before, right? It was very far, four days ago it very, was very far from MA20, it came back to MA20. Now MA20 is the support and can bounce from MA20. Looks like it's bound, it bounced from MA20. Let's move to four hours. Four hours. Four hours for last four bars, right? It touched MA50 and bounced. Looks like it's bounced from MA50 and still support. Yeah, still support on MA50. It's not really bounced. Still sits on the on the MA50 for last four bars. Still bearish. Still bearish. No confirmation yet on any indicators. Still bearish. It has it has gap below the current state below yeah it has three dollars gap large gap on spy below current state it it should go and close it but we'll see if it if if it if it's going to close it <coughs> okay still bearish on four hours mix mode on daily bullish on 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 one hour bearish. And four hours bearish on one hour it it changed direction to bullish bullish on all indicators on one hour bullish divergence bullish bullish divergences on all all indicators on one hour it touched ma 200 ma 200 strong support and it bounced from ma 200 and close above ma 5 20 and 10. strong uh bounce from ma MA200. We'll see if it can handle it. Close this gap. Okay. Bullish on one hour. Let's move to VXN. V, uh, VIX. Let's move to VIX. VIX daily, right? VIX daily volatility index for SPY. Bearish trend from 10 October 19. From October 19, bearish trend. Mag MACD, MA5 did bearish crossover over 10, over 20, on, actually on, on October 18, right? MACD gave us confirmation even early. It gave us on the October 14, bearish trend on VIX. It's bullish on SPY. Bullish on SPY, still bearish VIX trend on daily. It's a bullish for SPY on, on daily. Let's move to and about yeah and it's negative because it's below all moving averages below 200 bearish trend made far from may 20 may 20 
downtrend, but it's far from May 20. Four hours. Four hours, <coughs> still bearish. The last bar closed below all moving averages. MA20 wants to do bearish crossover over MA200. It takes, it, it's a bearish trend. Bearish trend. MACD wants to do bullish crossover. Our uh, histogram already changed direction. Not already changed, it wants to change direction. RSI and uh, also oscillator still in a bearish trend. All indicators still in a bearish trend, kind of building bullish divergence, bullish divergence on the on MACD, but no bullish confirmation yet. Still bearish, bearish on four hours and bearish on on, on daily. Let's see one, see one one hour. One hour still bearish, still bearish on on the RSI and uh, MACD, and bullish on. Awesome oscillator. Still bearish, the last bar below all moving averages. It's a bearish trend. Bearish trend. VIX on all time frames bearish. It's a bullish for SPY. Dow. Dow Johnson daily. Let's see Dow Johnson daily. Dow Johnson daily bullish trend. MA5 wants to do bearish crossover over 200 but it's no confirmation yet it did today but it bounced MACD is still bullish RSI is still bullish awesome so let it change to bearish still bull bullish signal on 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 for for daily for down still far from May 20 maybe it will go sideways and wait for May 20 to come back to uh, to 200. The MA20 uptrend, it's a good signal, it's a bullish signal. It did just bullish crossover over MA50. Very bullish signal. Let's move to 4 hours. 4 hours bearish signal. MACD did bearish crossover on, on November 2nd. Bearish crossover. RSI changed direction, but yeah, also also later bearish. On four hours, it's a bearish. On four hours, it's a bearish. Yeah, MA20 did also buy a bearish crossover on MA, on October, November 2nd. Last green bar, but it's uh, still in the same level. It's still bearish signal, bearish signal. It's, yeah, it's kind of mixed mode, right? On daily, bullish. On four hours, bearish, bearish. And let's see on one hour, on one hour it's a bullish, bullish signal on MACD, MACD just did uh, a bullish crossover, RSI ready for it, awesome oscillator still red, still bearish, MACD close, MACD, the last bar close above MA510, above all moving averages except 50, 50 can be strong, uh, strong resistant can be strong resistant we'll see if it uh, if it if it can go over the ma 50 or it will bounce from it bullish signal on macd okay dow has mixed signal mixed signal on for dow let's move to vxd vxd it's a volatility index for dow uh, let's check on daily. On daily, bearish signal from October 14. Bearish crossover on MACD from October 14. Histogram change color, RSI change color, awesome oscillator change color. All in the all indicators uh, confirmed bearish crossover for us on October 14, and still bearish in the bearish trend. Still in bearish trend. Last bar close at the May 200. MA200 can be strong support, can bounce from it. So far, it sits on a strong support MA200. Below all moving averages except 200. Still out at the 200. Okay, for love, four hours. <coughs> four hours. 
same same condition right the last bar seeds last bar several bars last four bars they have more than this last 10 bars it seed then 10 bars stays only 200 level like here it was on 200 but move, move, moved up same here it, it is 200 very strong support line it can bounce from it still 23 volatility index still high still high easy can bounce to 30 like we saw it here right boom macd doesn't want to do bullish crossover rsi doesn't want to do bullish crossover still bullish bearish signal on all indicators still bearish signal on all indicators it's building some bullish divergences on all indicators building bullish divergences on all indicators okay four hours bearish one hour one hour bearish too one hour bearish too yeah on the other side it builds it builds bullish divergence also oscillator bearish still bearish signal bearish on all time frames all indicators for vxd it's a bullish for dow iwm iwm russell 2000 on daily let's see russell 2000 on daily still bullish didn't uh, confirm bearish crossover still bullish on rsi on omd bearish on also oscillator last bar below may 5 and 10 it touched may 15 bounce from it bounce from 20 okay yeah, MA5 wants to do bearish crossover. No confirmation yet, but looks like it's ready for it. It can do it, maybe it will do it tomorrow. We'll see. Or it will bounce and will change direction. Still in the H. Still in the H. For all indexes. Let's see. One hour four hours. Four hours. Bearish signal on MACD. RSI and also oscillator battery signal on all indicators the bars uh, was kind of bounce from May 100 May 100 the positive thing bars still below May 20 and May 200 it's still about May 150 but May 20 just did recently a bullish crossover bullish crossover it's a bullish trend or uh, IWM on four hours. Bullish, bullish direction, bullish direction because of the MA200, MA20, but no confirmation yet. MACD, all indicators still in a bearish signal. Still in a bearish signal. No, 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 no official confirmation on from indicators. Still bearish. Still bearish on four hours and wants to go bearish on still bullish on daily but wants to go bearish one hour one hour bullish right it just changed direction like dow just last hour changed direction to bullish magdi did bullish crossover rsi did bullish crossover awesome also later didn't do bullish crossover yet the last bar closed about all moving averages except 50. it closed about i made 20. That's good, but I made 20 downtrend direction. It's not good. It's not good. Looks like I made 100 was strong support. Okay, that's all. Let's do summary. Like, uh, okay, summary. All volatility indexes in the in the bullish. I'm sorry, in the bearish trend on all indicators, on all time frames it's a bearish it's a bearish signal for volatility index but bullish for indexes bullish for indexes but indexes itself all indexes itself is kind of in the mix mode in the mix mode daily still bullish four hours still bearish and one hours bullish 
it's in the, in the mix mode no full confirmation yet okay that's what we have it's still in the a on h right on h it can go to bullish it can go to bearish keep tight tight stop and be ready it depends on your time frame what time frame you are using for for your trading and remember we don't fight with the market we don't predict we don't guess we don't have crystal ball we just follow the market market change direction cut losses change direction direction too don't yeah, don't don't follow the news don't follow the some rumors just follow the the charts and market trend and, and discipline and discipline if you see confirmation on all indicators the market change direction you have to change direction no no joke okay that's all and this simple training style works for uh for any securities for any securities if you like this video please click like button subscribe for youtube channels telegram and discord channels i do publish additional charts to to telegram and discord okay thank you so much and good luck bye now